for you already. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace that lifts, may the grace that announces, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. You are welcome to Believers Global TV. Beloved in Christ, I implore you not to miss this important message you are about to listen to. It is not by accident that you are here on this channel right now. I strongly believe that there is something God is about to do in your life through this teaching. And that is why I encourage you to listen to the end. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Today is a day of divine favor and testimony. Stay to the end. Don't go away. God bless you. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. The blessed of the Lord say so. The lifted of the Lord say so. The anointed of the Lord say so. The prosperous of the Lord say so. The healthy of the Lord say so. Please make sure you receive all the requests, ushers. Let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you prophetically for those who are connecting online. If you've sent it, no problem, we have it and we're going to pray over it. But if you're in your home and you have your request, just place it prophetically. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we're going to pray concerning our spiritual growth. Please listen. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Remember, we are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings. We are primarily, primarily, primarily a place that will help people encounter Jesus Christ and encounter the power of the Holy Spirit. If your spiritual life has gone down or is going down, your fervency for prayer, word study, the house of God, now is the time to pray. Grace is available to put you back in right and strong standing. Are you ready to pray? Some of you have stopped fasting. The grace for it is completely not there. Anytime you say you want to fast from 7 o'clock by 10, it's as if you are going to die. It is a demonic thing. The human spirit, even animals have capacity to endure. Anything that puts you in that state is the devil. He's trying to destroy you. Lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we step into the month of April, I am praying over my spiritual life. Someone is praying. Passion for the word of God. Passion for prayer. Passion for the house of God. The Bible declares, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life. The Bible says, Grow in grace. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive. My passion for the things of God. My passion for the house of God. My passion for prayer. Make sure you pray. This is a major part of this meeting. My passion for prayer. My passion for the study of the word. In the name of Jesus, my spiritual life is fanned back to flames. Every lukewarmness, backsliding, everything that does not represent spiritual growth, I drive it out of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, we spoke about healing. Now listen, when you study what Paul wrote about the gifts of the Spirit, all of the other gifts you will find gift of gift of but when it comes to healing you will see that paul wrote the gifts of healing that means there are many dimensions to healing bodily healing is just one of the dimensions there is solical healing the healing of your mind for the bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now it says, say to those who are of a broken heart, do not be afraid. He will come and save you. So you are going to pray for healing. Complete, holistic healing. 
for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's yet to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life i'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead Go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare healing. Healing of my body. I declare healing. Healing of my mind. I declare healing. Healing in my job. I declare healing. Healing in my emotions. If someone pray, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Healing from disappointments. Healing from pain. Healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the sun has set me free i am free indeed the sun has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer i want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and rebuke that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of jesus i do ministry with results i command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of jesus i decree and declare i press i go forward i move forward in every area of my life i break forth from the left I break forth from the right I break forth above and below in the name of Jesus I make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress I actualize destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah finally look up please i want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up i don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of god that god has placed over you i will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing god you will know god you will love him with all your heart but i can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if jesus did not die for you are we together i've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pms only god knows the other day we were discussing a school of ministry gas cylinder gas cylinder i don't know whether it's empty or filled you you buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of you know all kinds of things women will tell you here you go to the market it's as if you want to run away from that place because everything has escalated you see 
the bible told us that these times will come but there is a system of exemption don't forget there was darkness in egypt but there was light all over goshen are we together now when you are praying for your finances you are going to pray a twofold prayer number one that christ be revealed as the wisdom of god remember there are two levels of light there is light that shines on your head job 29 and there is light that shines on your feet the one that shines on your head gives you illumination the one that shines on your feet gives you direction you need both you need strategy and direction thou shall hear a voice from behind saying just because everybody is doing something you follow them you may crash you need a specific direction and then of course we are going to pray that the favor of God, oh dear, I'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned. What is favor? Men willing to participate in your, in your success. Are you ready to pray? In one minute, cry to God, pray. Break this hold of financial stagnation. Please pray, please pray. Most of what you have written here, if we are to be very honest, most of them depend on finances. The fees of your children, structural projects, your well-being and welfare, those who are under your care that you need to take care of. As a person, you may not have any financial need, but how about your organization? How about your church? How about your ministry? Lift your voice and pray. Especially for some of you that God has so graciously raised to be breadwinners, to be the ones who will help your loved ones. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, strengthen my hand. Strengthen my hand financially. Even at times like this, Holy Spirit, appear unto me as the wisdom of God. Let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we are saying but any sincere person who loves god knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stop going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it. And there are others who maybe have their jobs. Their jobs are still there. They are paying them the salary. It's just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems. Can I tell you this? I've told you. I pray to God and I vowed and covenanted with God that I will never be the man of God who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down. Imagine that as you are standing right now, there's no food in my house. I'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you. Prophetically, not generally. I will walk to you. I will tell you as, as soon as I get to you, just don't even argue with me. I know what I've seen that made me come to you. Because of hunger. So most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people. When you pray for the grace for integrity, pray for financial empowerment. If you are empowered, it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity. Are we together now? If someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you 100 million, 
You can say, no, I'm standing for Jesus. You will go to heaven, but you will still suffer on earth because of that, that, because of your integrity. So you have to pray. A time has come in the body of Christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment. You can be empowered and still be righteous. You can still be empowered and love Jesus. Are we together? There are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources. Are you ready to pray for favor? Please cry unto God in one minute. Father, let favor come upon my life. Grant me financial rest. The Lord put this in my heart. This is part of the miracle service. I must honor what he has given me. Please pray. Corporate rest financially. Personal rest financially. Lord, grant rest in the name of Jesus. I'm tired of financial embarrassment. I'm tired of worrying about money. It's distracting my prayer life. It's distracting my word study life. Lack is introducing wrong relationships to my life. Grant me the grace to be empowered. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. God using men to participate in your lifting. God using men to participate in your destiny. Outside, make sure you pray. If this is all we do tonight, it was worth it. Lord, the realities of the times will not catch up with me. I am immune by knowledge, immune by favor. Hallelujah. Exodus 11.3 Exodus 11.3 I'm about to pray right now Have I wasted your time tonight? Exodus 11.3 Please be patient I want you to return with results Media, are we still there? Are we together? Exodus 11.3 Read with me please everyone One to read And the Lord gave the people favor Stop So people as a, as a community Can find favor Not just an individual and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh huh. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. What was responsible for his favor? The Lord gave favor. There is a relationship between favor and greatness. Truly. You can be great by favor. I have taught you that who hates you does not matter. Naysayers can go, but who likes you? You are going to pray that God will make someone like you. It's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that God will, will make someone endear to you genuinely with no strings attached. Lift your voice and cry to heaven. Believe me, one person who finds favor, who you find favor with, can give you a house, can give you all these things you are looking for. It's not a license for laziness, but it's an advantage in the kingdom. Let's tap into it. Lord, grant me favor. God can open untold doors into profitable relationships. Lord, I'm tired of troublemakers in my life. Send help us. Is someone praying? Lord, I'm tired of naysayers in my life. Send genuine help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's save the time. Please prophetically stretch your hands here. And let's begin to declare... Just for one or two minutes, I'm going to pray. Go ahead and begin to declare. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every request. Are you praying? Lord, they return as testimonies. Every praise. To our God, every song of worship is to our God, every praise, every praise 
into our God. One more time. Every praise to our God. Every word of words we want to call. Every praise. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing, but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our requests made, be made known unto God. Father, we have brought this as representations of our concerns. Grant us rest in Jesus' name. Shout a louder, Amen. As I would always say in the name of Jesus, every prayer request here is turned into a testimony. Yes. Supernatural testimonies. Yes. Most of the testimonies here require favor. May that favor work for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any human agent stopping answers to this prayer, we clear them out of the way now. And I decree and declare, as we have spoken and as we have declared, let it be so for you. You will return back with your testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Please lift your hands. Let me speak over your life. Thank you for your patience. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, this week, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that has not been working, everything that represents a disappointment, I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare, may it begin to work in your life. <laughs> Hear me. The same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you, where you need to leave and go to, may nothing stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same way, when you left your home, there were many roads, but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place. Every confusion around your life, may God show you the exact thing to do now. In the name of Jesus. For all of you who are here, when you got to the gate, the gate did not close against you. Therefore, I declare, every gate that has closed against you, I open it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There are many things you need in your life, but you do not have the currency to buy them. The wisdom has currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you I prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers I say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of Jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around I decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore I pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with Egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures 
in the name of Jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of Jesus Christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes I decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in Jesus name I pray Thank you for staying to the end of this message. But before you leave, I want to tell you a story. There was a father who has two sons. And so he sent two of his sons to the farm, like to go and harvest yam. So he called them both and sent them. The elderly one says he is going to go, that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he's not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so I will go. So he changed his mind and went. So I want to ask, among these two sons, who actually does the will of the father? It is the younger one. So as you have listened to this message, it's not about listening alone. If you're listening and probably you feel stirred up. But later on, the zeal, the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies. And you do not apply this message it means the time that you dedicated listening to them, to this message was a waste so it is not about what you share alone it's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life, will turn your life around.